Hello, my name is Josh Van Dyke, and this is the Online Fundamentals of Physics podcast of my experiment. Today I'll be doing the electromagnet, where we were going to be building an electromagnet out of simple things, and the process that we're going to be doing uh, is going to be attempting to show whether or not current has an electromagnetic field. So let's take a look at what we need to do this. In order to do this experiment, we are going to need a few things. First is going to be a battery. The battery we're going to use to create our electrical current. We're going to need to use some wire. The wire will be used to carry the current. We need a nail or some form of magnetic material, not something that's already magnetically charged, but that at least responds to magnetism. And some other metal things that we can use to show that the magnet's actually working. What the experiment's going to do is we're going to try and take the current from this battery, send it down this wire, around this piece of metal, and hopefully we'll be able to take this metal and magnetize it, and it'll be able to pick up our little pieces of metal over here. Now, to make things easier, we already have a nail that has been wrapped and coiled with about four to five feet roughly of the wire, tightly, tightly wrapped. Now the concept of the experiment is that current creates an electromagnetic charge or some form of magnetism. So the idea is that when we send the current down this wire, having it wrapped very, very tightly is going to create a tighter magnetic field. It's going to transfer that magnetic field to our piece of metal and will magnetize our metal. So once we hook up this battery to this homemade electromagnet, we should be able to pick up our metal stuff on the ground. A table, whatever this is called. So we take a couple alligator clips and we connect one piece of the wire here. And we connect it to the negative side of the battery. And what we're now doing is creating what's called a closed loop. What a closed loop circuit is, is it just means that it's sending current from the positive to the negative side of the battery. Now, without a bunch of wire to go through, it's just a direct short. Not really the best thing in the world, but it will create some heat because there is current flowing through it. However, the longer the wire is, the more resistance we're going to create, which we're going to get into that in a second. However, we take our magnet, which is now created because of our coil, and we now have an electromagnet. Disconnect the electricity, and the magnet is no longer effective. What if we took a larger coil itself and created more electromagnetism? Basically what this is is well over at least 100 feet of wire that has been coiled around a much larger nail. Um, to make life easier, again, it's already done, so you don't have to watch me coil this for a few hours. What we're going to do the same process. We are going to connect the battery again to the same same type of coil as before, and it's going to take our non-magnetized piece of metal or nail, and it's going to turn into an electromagnet. However, what you can't see this time, or at least you can't feel, is that this is an even stronger magnet because we have increased the amount of coils and increased the electromagnetic field that we have on our coil itself. Let me just connect it battery and it is no longer a magnet. So basically what we've done is we've taken the same concept from a smaller one to a bigger one and shown that the increase in coils will actually prove to be an increase in the electromagnetism of the electromagnet itself. To sum up everything that we just did, we wrapped wire around a nail, we sent current through the wire, and we were able to turn a ordinary nail into an, uh, an electrically charged magnet. What this shows us is that there is a magnetic field that surrounds all wires and when they are carrying electrical current. Straight wires have a fairly weak electromagnetic field, that's why we coiled them tightly and kept everything small. Um, the smaller distance between the coils will actually create a stronger magnet. They make some magnets that are so small they're about the size of this roll of tape and they're able to lift up to five, six hundred pounds. Uh, that's just because of how tightly wrapped the coils are. 
by doing this, we are able to show that the strength of magnetism can very easily be turned on and off with the simple flow of electricity.